special edition of Eyewitness News at 10. Thanks for joining us. Eyewitness News at 11 is next. There are heroes in every community, giving help, providing hope. This holiday season, ABC7 invites you to give back. Be a hero. Donate a new toy to the spark of love. Bought this year because of COVID, we're asking you to give online. Just text SPARK to 24365 or go to abc7.com spark of love to make a child's holiday brighter. This year, heroes give here. Send your loved one's birthday wishes on Eyewitness News, mornings at 5. Go to abc7.com slash birthdays. Sponsored by Jerome, celebrating their 66th birthday. Jerry's 15 days of incredible values are going on now. Check jeromes.com for a new deal every day. It's time for Jerry's 15 days of incredible values. Over 3,000 items in stock just in time for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Values like these won't last long, so visit jeromes.com for Jerry's 15 days of incredible values. This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. Breaking news out of Granada Hills tonight. Gunfire rings out near outgoing L.A. County District Attorney Jackie Lacey's home. LAPD confirming the shooting all stemmed from an attempted carjacking. Our Amy Powell joins us live with what we're learning tonight. Amy. That's right, Veronica and Jory. You can see the investigation goes on out here. Shots were fired near... District Attorney Jackie Lacey's home. Now, we understand she was at home during this incident, but she is safe. But again, as we have learned so far, the LAPD tells us the shooting happened during an attempted car theft that was broken up by Lacey's security detail. A sheriff's deputies and